Morning everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Soon all this will be gone. Chris and I have been working hard out here. I uh, dropped a tree, Chris is hauling the pieces away. This was a big tree, give you an idea, big oak. And look at how neatly we dropped this. Uh, this tree was right here. And I had to go between these pallets and these pallets and clear the tents. And I literally just, I mean, you can see the line where it laid and it just brushed the outside edge of the tent. It was a big tree, but I, uh, I dropped it and cut it all up into logs already. And we've cleared two piles of wood. I don't know if you see the difference, but there was a bunch of pallets here. And all my firewood piles were out here all over the place. And we've been condensing and... Uh, cleaning Chris is sorting out mulch piles so he's been raking this whole area up in his free time and uh, we're we've got two major piles out of the way this was all wood piles right here actually three three pallets full of wood is gone that we've cleaned up so we've got three more piles to go and uh, we'll have this done and then I've got to knock out these trees here to move the motor home this this and this. So all of this is coming out within the next couple days. And the reason for all this is we have to have a path to get the chicken coop into here. The chicken coop that's over here in the yard is right in the way of all the big trucks that are coming through. And of moving my camper. And they're going to move my camper for me because I can't back up that well. Uh, there's no way I can do that into this little hole. So they're going to do that for me. That's kind. Anyway, so... That, I feel pretty good about that. Logged it all out, and we're gonna get that wood out of the way. And the next project is to build a pallet wood woodshed right here. So we're just gonna put up a, a lean-to framework of pallets and start stacking all the firewood, which is all over the place here, into that shed. Uh, off the ground and ready to cure and out of the way of our progress. Hey everybody, building the woodshed today for all the firewood. So, we're using all scrap materials, using all the rest of my scrap screws, scrap wood to pry th or to hold the boards together. Can you um, hold them? Yep. Squeeze them in the middle, please. Will this fit in there? Hold on, I gotta see if this fits. Uh, no, 2x4 won't fit. This fits. Alright, if you can squeeze them together, please, in the bottom. Well, let me get this one side done first. Get this one screw in. Well, let me get one screw in. And then we'll uh, squeeze it together. And then, if you can squeeze the bottom two boards together, regardless of the top. Can you hold them together or no? Put your hand down here. Your Don't worry about the top. Here, what I'm showing you. Put one hand here and one hand here. There you go. Can you do that? There we go. That's just as good as you can get it, right? All right, then I'll, I'll screw it down. All right, thank you. Now, not too bad. This can be lined up right there when we put the next piece on. And uh, I think we need a corner piece. So anyway, we're putting this together. We'll uh, check with you from time to time, let you see the progress. But I've got to look for another, uh, some, two more oak boards for the bottom. And we're going to have a uh, nice little pallet shed for uh, firewood.
Well, we've been working along. We got interrupted by rain, so we hauled another load of pallets over. And we just got two more pieces on this wall to put up. And then um, I'm going to put sort of a halfway door across the front like I did the sugar shack. And put a barnwood beam up top and then slope it down just like the sugar shack. Nice and easy. But that won't be today. I just want to get this uh, these walls up so I can start putting all this stuff somewhere and get it out of the way. And it gives me a place to put it at least. Then we'll have the uh, pallets on the ground, put the boards on the pallets, and have it out of the way. Be done with it. I won't have to do any screwing from inside anyway because those... Uh, Two by sixes are going to span the entire roof, and I can do every, all the work from the outside. So, all good and happy. I figure I'll let you watch me bring the last piece over. Although I'm getting a little bit weaker, so I'm going to look funny. All right, ready? Same size. That's good there. We're gonna have to shove it in at the bottom a lot. Hold on. Yeah, we're gonna have to shove it in. The problem is the ground is very uneven out here. Ah, here we go. So, we've got issues putting this stuff together properly. All right, what I'm gonna do, I want, wait, hold on, relax a second. I'm gonna line this up with here. And how are we looking over here? Um, yeah, there's, it's a little bit shorter, so I can live with that. So hold on. I'm going to screw this one or this one. we got to push in a little bit. Right there. Okay, don't move, please. I'm going to put a screw through that. Should be okay to let go. I'm going to put some cross bracing inside. Well, there we have it, guys. The last wall is going in. I'm just putting cross bracing in now, through and through, putting in a bunch of wood to hold this all together and strengthen it up. It's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it's going to hold wood. And it's better than anything I had for firewood. So, for now that's good. Once I get a roof on, and a little bit of a doorway area, it'll be good to go. So Chris is helping a neighbor with an air compressor filling up some tires. And Melanie's over here planting, and I have been running strings up and leveling the field here for our rows. So I just raked this relatively flat. And now we've got here a walkway, which you can see we've been walking on. We've got a planting row, which Melanie's now going to be planting. And then she's kneeling on the middle walkway, which we're about to be preparing tonight. I'm going to set up two more stakes and string, and then we'll have this walkway lined up here. And uh, then I'm going to get some mulch and line this with mulch. And that's the center main walkway in the garden. So it's looking pretty good. We've got quite a bit going on here in the garden already and by tonight we'll have the garden half planted literally half planted well not because I want to get the corn I haven't done the corn yet that goes in that row and I'm going to take all the leaves there run them through the mulcher and they're going in between all the plants that are already growing but we're getting it very soon we'll have a, a full finished garden hey everybody we're making a we took a gazebo type thing that had uh, four corners and no roof and we're making a walkthrough type of a um, thing for the garden so there's half of it and a corner of a next piece and I'll show you what we're doing we're making our own thing here using scraps that we got for free so I just tapped this with a hammer to pre mark it
Oh, that's hot. Maybe it was a piece of metal that got me earlier, but it didn't look like it. Yeah. Okay, hold that. Into the middle. Three tap. Street. So I got all this out in the uh, in town one day. We got some free metal, and I thought worst case it's scrap metal. We can take it in as, as scrap and get some dollars for it. Not much, but hey. And then I decided to make a walkthrough for the garden. Make it very pretty in the middle of the garden, which you'll see in a little bit here when we get the last holes drilled. Changes out later, but I got. I don't think I need that one, do I? No, we can swap them out later. Yeah. Or, hmm, they might work. No, we have to use them. That's too short. Inch and three quarters would have been best, but all they had was two inches. They had one and, one and a half to two inches. All right, there's the last piece. Now we're going to connect that together with the uh, the cross brace. I'll show you what we got here. The original frame support was right there like that. So there's a corner, and then there was a frame and a corner, and then there would have been a frame and a corner over to a corner and so on. But we're going to do it in a different way to make a walkthrough path for the garden, which you'll see as soon as we get this, we're going to assemble this next frame and then stand this up and see if we can connect them together. Well, there's my idea, everybody. So, it's got a lot of work to do. Uh, we have to reinforce it a lot, um, put cross bracing on it and reinforcements. But what we have here, basically, is a corner here, beautiful corner, the entrance to the garden, and then the... I'm going to have a, a lattice work here in the middle and then the tomatoes will climb up will brace up the tomatoes on the lattice work of this this framing so this is a walkway let me back up here a minute throughout the middle of the entire garden we'll have this beautiful walkway through here and then I'm going to have Japanese style um, boards going across so what you have is a board goes across and then hangs over uh, a foot or so and then you cut out a curved little section on each end and you put a little, uh, like a, oh, mosquito was eating me. Put a little uh, angled thing on top. Well, he got me too. I feel it. So, what do you think? That's uh, obviously, ah, mosquitoes are getting bad. So obviously the uh, it needs some cross bracing and leveling. And a lot more work, but there it is. It's up, and we get an idea. I like it. I don't know what you guys think, but I like it. Chris, what do you think of the idea? I love it. And in the whole center of the garden, we'll have the walkway like that. Yeah. You like the idea? Yeah, I like it. Well, thanks for the help. Chris helped me no put that all together, totally. I could not hold those pieces together alone. But, yeah, if we could find another piece like that, that would be beautiful. Yeah. Just like that? Yeah. That was a gazebo, one of those, we saw it, the one like that today. Yeah. It was like one of those, um, just a, a four squares and an open roof, or a open squares and a roof. Yep. So those were the corner supports of the gazebo, and then the tent-type roof on top. We modified it. And we didn't have all the, all the pieces anyway, which we, we didn't care. I got it because of this purpose. So I'm going to level it off and make it work. But imagine walking through this garden, and there's a, a walkway like this, and then there's a, like a trellis here, 
and all your, your cucumbers are growing here, for example, and you just reach over and grab a cucumber off the vine growing right up the side of this thing. So tomatoes will be growing up one side and just grab your tomato as you go along, walk along here grabbing your cucumbers, and so on until the end of the garden. So this was the idea I had. So now my vision is starting to come together for a beautiful garden, not just a food garden, but a beautiful garden. And that only took us a couple hours and we were exhausted, weren't we, Chris? Oh, yeah. There was no more labor today. Nah. This, we were burnt out. So, sorry, I know you can't see everything in 15 minutes, but we worked hard, didn't yeah, we? we did. I mean, seriously, yeah. we, we really worked hard today. It was too much. So, we had some fun time here, which I wanted to do anyway. And then Melanie, in the meantime, planted a bunch of vegetables that we had. Um, these were on sale at Walmart the other day. I think it was a dollar fifty for a flat uh, uh, of six for some of these, and three dollars for six for the others. So we got some some uh, food going here. We have cabbages that are ripe in forty-five days, and then we've got you're getting a nail board, aren't you? Thank you. I put one of them through my foot earlier. So we've got the uh, the cabbages that'll be ready in forty-five days. We've got some sweet peppers, and then we've got some tomatoes again. And I'm going to say goodbye because I'm getting bit up. Talk to you all later.